Okay, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be um, doing a how-to video showing you how to rig up a weighted Texas rig with a bobber stop. Yep, so today we're gonna be using three things other than the line, the rod, and the reel. We're gonna be using a Texas rig hook, so a offset, we'll, sh we'll show the like a zoom in. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah right up there in the top Yep, corner. and then a uh, 3 ounce weight, ounce weight, and then uh, a bobber stop, little thing that you can get anywhere basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's get right into this and uh, I'm gonna show you. So this is the line I'm using, it's a fluorocarbon. Probably can't see it too well. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know what, yeah, it's hard to see because it's literally supposed to be invisible. <laughs> yep. So there you can see it a little bit. A little but... bit. Okay. So yeah, it's 12 pound, 12 pound fluorocarbon. I rather 15 if you can pick. Okay. So the first part of this process is going to be putting the, uh, the bobber stop on the line. You got to do that first or else the whole thing doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So you pick one of your things, you separate them from the rest. You see that right there. You pick one out and then you put your line right through the little hole as you guys might've saw. And then doesn't matter how much line you really have on through the hole. And then you just pull right through it. And then it's going to go on your line like that in a split motion. And then you're going to want to just wait, sorry. Then you're going to want to pull it out like this, pull it out towards the end of the line and it'll just go on your line like that. And then you put your bobber things to the side. You don't need those. So that what you're going to want to do with this, you just slide it all the way up the line because you're not going to need it. Next step, put the weight on correct. So now you're going to want to put, make sure you put the weight on through the, the skinny part. This one's really hard because it's got like a little plastic thing in there. Okay, I got it. So you're going to want to slide the line through. And then you're also just going to want to put this right to the bobber stop. That's, you can even move that up a little farther because you don't want to get in your way while you're tying your hook on okay so today we're using the four rot offset not offset extra wide gap hook this is my favorite because i've had better hook sets with it personally and so now i'm just gonna be tying the palmer knot there's other knots people may tell you to use this is just the one i've never broke off on a palmer knot on a fish ever me neither so i think personally this one's the best you can decide and i think it's the easiest a lot of people do say it's the easiest knot you can tie but um, right now we're going to do a time lapse of me tying this knot because it's going to take me more than a few seconds and we don't want to make you guys sit through it. Okay. All right, so now we're just gonna, this is one of the last parts you're gonna cut, right? On this part of the line, the tail end. Make sure you don't do the other part that's attached to your line. So now you're good. You got your knot, you got your hook. So now, like we just pushed up this weight and bobber stop. Now you're gonna wanna take your bobber stop and push it all the way back down to your hook. So you're gonna meet your weight eventually. The weight should slide back down. Okay, so now this is your should be your final product right there. There should be a, a weight, a bobber stop, and a hook. The only thing that I would say I would, some people like to do the bobber stop right against the weight. I like to give about like less than an inch of room, like that much of room, right? In between the bobber stop and the weight. Okay guys, so that was how to tie on a weighted Texas rig with a bobber stop. This was the juice at Harold's Pond. I think it was, it was probably a while back. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but it was when I caught my PB fish, mm -hmm. Tanner was using this and he caught this, probably the same fish that yeah, I caught. Yeah, it was the exact same way, it was weird. But mm -hmm. like almost, every, I tied it on. I was like, you know what? I've never tried this. Let me try it out. First cast, boom. It just like was almost every cast. And like, you're going to want to do the same way you like Texas rig. You just want to like pop, pop, pop. A little less of the pops. Just like you want to pop it up once, let it fall, do it. And then they'll just come up and eat it. And you'll just feel them set the hook. And you're, you got yourself a nice little fish. And um, so the key things here, I know you can't see, but uh, bobber stop, weight, Texas rig. I'll link all this down in the description. Yep, the exact we use, we're we using. use extra wide gap hooks, me and Tanner. Yep. So I'll link an extra wide gap and a regular offset hook offset. down below. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recommend throwing this on fluorocarbon. You can throw it on braid just fine. Mono, uh, I wouldn't do it if I were you, but you can try it. Tell me how it works in the comments. On a, I would throw it on a bait caster because it's a little heavier, so the spinning might not do too well. 
So bait caster, seven foot rod at least, and then uh, you're gonna definitely catch yourself a lot of fish using this rig. Yep. Definitely know uh, if you like. D let us know if you like this video mm -hmm. in the comments below what you liked and disliked about it. Definitely leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Fish, fish fear us. us.